Thank you. I'll be brief. Um, you know, Chip, I've um, been aware of Chip. I started, I didn't read till I was 24, isn't that pitiful? But um, it's not that I couldn't, it's just that I didn't have um, time, peace and quiet. And, but I did when I was 24, and it was um, the thing that was missing from my life, so I started reading constantly. And I very quickly began to choose my books based on the book jacket. Um, and after a couple years of collecting all these books, um, a, a friend who was in publishing, I didn't know anything about publishing, came over to my apartment and looked at all my books and said, whoa, look at all these Chip kids. You love Chip, huh? And I said, who, what? And it turned out that most of my library was composed of books that Chip designed. And that's when my fatal attraction obsession began. <laughs> and I used to go to the, um, what's it called, Chip, that book, The Strand. And um, I would, it's, it, which is a, I used to go to this big old weird bookstore in New York. It stacks, it's like a library, but it's a bookstore of um, remainders. And I would go there and I would look for his books and I would look at his name on the back. I have no idea why I did this. I wasn't, I wasn't an author, I wasn't going to be published, I had nothing to do with it, but his name, Chip Kidd, I mean, Asperger's runs in the family, so it's possible this is a prefrontal cortex issue, but his name obsessed me. And then um, I, I did write books and got published, and um, I wondered on which book, oh, it was the dry, the second book published. I wondered if um, somehow, I, I heard, this is how it happened, I heard that Chip would design things sometimes for people outside of Random House. So I thought, well, I can ask, I mean, you know, what's the harm? And he, he said yes. He said yes, and what I love about Chip is that Everything he designs, no matter what it is, whether it's a poster for a new book festival or uh, a coffee table book celebrating comic book heroes, every single thing he designs is smart, you know? Because you think of designers and creative people as being very creative, but, you know, maybe kind of flaky, maybe a little bit. Um, Chip is like an incredibly smart person who's able to, encap to capture an idea, whether that idea is a, is a novel or a a book or a festival into a very iconic graphic image and do it um, with the skill and um, grace that is really unmatched. He's, it's really unmatched. Um, do I have anything else to say? No. That's, is, that, is that like a good enough introduction? I used words with more than three syllables. So without further ado, Chip Kidd. God, <clears throat> I'm going to part the Red Sea later if you want to see that, too. <laughs> it's such an honor to be here. <clears throat> I, uh, I feel a real personal connection to the Boston Book Festival. Um, I was made aware of this uh, last spring, in, I believe April, when I got uh, an email from Nicholas Negroponte asking me if I would be interested in, in working on this. Well. I had designed a book for Nicholas in the early 90s called Being Digital, and that was my introduction to him, and, and he had me come up to MIT at the time where he uh, was showing me this new thing which would um, appear on people's computers and um, would show them various things that were going on in the world and that people could have their own home page. Um, which would show them other people on this thing, the web, what was going on. And, and I thought, well, this is interesting. Good luck <laughs> with your web. God. Um, <clears throat> truly amazing. So... Um, so here I am, and, uh, I, and, and again, uh, uh, Augustine, who I design covers for and I adore, I design all the covers for Orhan Pamuk. I did Dennis Lehane's Mystic River, um, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is just a real thrill for me. Today, uh, I got my Boston Public Library card. <laughs> 
mainly because that was the only way I could gain entrance to the William Addison Dwiggins room. Now, if you don't know what this is, it is two floors up in the rare books room, and you all must go. This guy, William Addison Dwiggins, coined the term graphic design, and he was the premier book designer of his day. Uh, primarily working for Knopf and Random House back then. Um, and uh, they have an entire room, well, he, he also dabbled in puppetry, so there's a whole room of his marionettes, and that's fine, and everybody has to have some sort of kinky thing in their life. So that was his. But you can also see, if you, if you uh, sign out, you can see all the typefaces that he designed. Electra, Caledonia, uh, the books he designed for H.L. Mencken and, and countless James M. Cain. It's all there upstairs. And uh, it's absolutely astonishing. And it just re renews my faith in the book. Um, and he wrote even back in, in the 20s that the book was the single best piece of technology that existed for recording our existence and then being able to go back and retrieve it. And so it is in that spirit that we would like to, I would like to unveil the, uh, the poster for the Boston Book Festival. And basically, it's a very simple concept. It's Boston in books and books in Boston. And so if you all turn around, we're gonna drop the skirt and reveal our lovelies. So thank you, Debbie Porter. And thank you, Nicholas, and it's my honor to be here. Thank you very much.